we'd like to just give a warning uh, as you watch these next videos we thought it'd be more authentic for me to speak in my natural tongue so just please keep that in mind as you watch mahalo continue hello my kaku brandon and i with naya designs hey let me tell you a story about this this Okay, same design, three different ways, uh, and this is the story behind this mango leaf design. Okay, creating these designs, having trouble, calling my mom. Mom, I want to create these designs. I want to have it. Uh, it has to do with growing up in Hana. We're going to make it personal. Growing up in our house. Growing up on our aina in Kaeliku or Ulino, and uh, my mom said, "Oh yeah, I get chalk plants outside. You can make one design with this. You can make one design with that. You can make one design with that." And I was like, "Ah, mom, get plenty of designs with all those other plants." And so we was going back and forth, and was one joke. She said, "Oh." I get all these pile of leaves we never pick up. Kyoki's supposed to go pick them up, but he never pick them up. I go take a picture of them. I go send them to you. You go make one t-shirt out of them. And I was like, damn, ma, that is the best idea I ever heard. Uh, the people don't know it, but they're going to love it. And so far, this has been, uh, I'm pretty sure, the best selling design on any of our t-shirts. So... That's how the design came about. The story, though, is where well, the story actually has to do with growing up uh, under a mango tree. Uh, my house used to be the mango tree, not there anymore, but used to have these tall mango trees surrounding my house. And every day the leaves would fall and every day we clean them up. And the next day, all the leaves Back on the ground and we'd pick them up again and again and again never ending cycle but with the leaves come the actual mango worth all the work we used to go pick up the mango with uh this uh mango picker my dad made with one long bamboo stick with you know you duct tape the scoop net to the end you kind of bend the net for make one sharp angle and you can tug the mangoes for come down and every day after school i'd go and i'd pick all these mangoes and i'd make me a tub of pickle mango or show you pickle mango and you cannot eat them right away yeah so i go put them in the ice box and i let them sit overnight and so <laughs> every day the next day every day i come after come home after school all excited I eat my pickle mango walk into the ice box open the door gone okay okay eat all my pickle mango Saka. <sighs> and then i would hide them in the bottom all in the far back behind the milk behind the juice and i kind of hide my jar of pickle mango the next time then Suck up, find them again. <sighs> Cannot win. So, in the end, I would just catch him in the act. Come home earlier. He used to come home early because he had sports. And I used to stay in the library and study until my mom was powered. Come home. One day I asked my mom, Mom, can we go home earlier? Go home earlier. Catch him in the act. Kyoki, you eating my pickle mango? Oh. Instead of getting angry, we sit down, eat them together. My sister guys come, everybody eat pickle mango together. And that's the memories that, that this design kind of give off. You know, uh, for anybody else who get on mango tree, 
You guys know the struggles, but you guys know the joys. And this design go out to all you guys who, like me, live under one mango tree. Aloha, mahalos.